Hi everyone, today we're going to Christchurch, New Zealand for the long weekend via Brisbane. Let's see what we have to eat there. Our first meal of the day is on board our Qantas flight to Brisbane. First meal. We've landed in Brisbane, so we're going for lunch at the Hosokawa Japanese restaurant in a small suburb called Hamilton. It was recommended by a Japanese friend as being authentic. Try the salmon belly. Mm. It's very rich. Salmon belly is very rich. Mm. Tastes fresh. Not like the last place I had. This is the fried kingfish wings, which was delicious. And here's the seared scallops. Very nice. Perfectly cooked, well seasoned, not overcooked and scary. <laughs> Very good. Nice and big. Uh, it does cook the fish because of the vinegar and the yuzu sauce, so have it as, as soon as, soon as possible. Thanks. So, this kingfish, you have to eat it with the radish, pickled radish, the spring onions, and the sauce, ume sauce. So, they give seaweed and not salad, plain old salad. Oh, I must say that this uh, on the rocks. The ume choyo ume on the rocks is better than the choye umo <laughs> choye ume shu with soda. <laughs> Sorry for mangling the Japanese language. We have miso soup unadon, which is eel on rice, yakiniku beef on rice, and teriyaki steak. What do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Ah. If I ever come back here to Brisbane, I will definitely come back here. On the way to Christchurch, it's night already. Saturday morning, we are going for breakfast at the C1 Espresso Cafe. This cafe is great because I like a bit of theatrics with my food. There are vacuum tubes here because the building used to be an old post office building. They can print your dog's photos on your coffee. Can you see the food in the tube? Here it comes! I had the blat, which is bacon, lettuce, oh. avocado, and tomato with chips. The toilets are behind a wall of books. We have two hours drive to Hanma, brings thermal pools for the day. We stopped at the supermarket and found these typical New Zealand fruit. Look at that, kiwi fruit and fijoa. Let me show you what the fijoa looks like. You cut it in half and scoop it out. It tastes a bit like passion fruit. This is what the fijoa looks like. Kiwi fruit in kiwi. It was kind of scary going down this path. <laughs> but fun. We returned to Christ Church for dinner in the Riverside Market. This restaurant is called El Kincho 
an Argentinian restaurant. Oh. <laughs> I ordered a mojito, but it didn't seem to have enough lime. I don't know, maybe this is the Argentinian style. Wow, oh, the red wine looks so nice, so good. It looks perfectly cooked as well. Here we go, my friends. Thank you. Enjoy. This is the everything, the lot. Of a good restaurant is the chip. Wow, crunchy. I'm gonna eat the ribeye first. Mm, wow. The ribeye. The charred charcoal taste is so good. Everything on my plate. First, let's try the beef. This is the rump cap. My favorite part of the beef, which is the I think the uh, I think the South Americans do it the best. Wow, so tender, so good and soft. Pork belly. Pork belly. Mm. Nice and fatty. <laughs> Overall, I would say I like it. It is nice and uh, very well grilled. <laughs> very well grilled. The rum cap is very nice. It's tender. The ribeye is the best. I think the chips is like number two, <laughs> second best. <laughs> Overall, I would say I would come back to this place. If I come back to this city, I would highly recommend coming here at the Riverside Market. Next day, we went to Little High Eatery at Little High Lane. It's like a little fancy food court with all kinds of cuisine. There's Thai food, burgers, Japanese, South American, wood-fired pizzas. This is my burger. It's called Tripper Snipper. It's got pork, burnt ends, onion rings, bacon, salsa and slaw. Cheers! Your burger looks so high. Little high eatery in Christchurch. I'm having a burger from Bacon Bros. Which is Bros. 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 <laughs> this is a pork. Cool pork. which is near Lake Mount Kapo. Cook, that's New Zealand's highest mountain. We got to see snowy mountains even though we got there kind of late. It is worth the five hour drive. The water is blue because it's glacier water. You can see that the sun has already set but it's still worth it, it's still worth the drive. Driving back would be another five hours, so we had dinner in the Hermitage Hotel in Mount Cook Village. The non-driving person in our group ordered the Mount Cook Sunset Cocktail. Hey. 
Thank you. We're having our charcuterie platter and salmon platter at the bar. The reason we were eating at the bar is because the restaurant was fully booked. We left Mount Cook Village at about 8.30. We were at 756 meters above sea level. Next day, Monday, we had breakfast at Little High Eatery again. We wanted to try the rack of pork ribs, uh, but unfortunately, they ran out. I guess it's because it's Easter Monday public holiday. Someone ordered a tom yum soup it's really and it was very good. Wow. The New Zealand mussel is really the best wow, in the world. Spicy. You must try it. <laughs> we had the grilled lamb with mashed potatoes and rib eye on the bone with pineapple. Here's the grill. Try the ceviche. How come it's like in chunks. It is raw fish, mm. but it's got the dressing on it. Quite herby. Actually, I quite like it, but it's got sour cream. Oh, okay. Maybe the uh, Japanese style is better. <laughs> wow. in rum. Mm. I like the pineapple. Very nice. Maybe it's the rum. <laughs> but it's nice and sweet. I should eat it together with the beef. See how it goes. The lamb with the chimichurri sauce. I can make chimichurri sauce. Yeah, there's a lot of herbs, it's very nice. You guys quite like the lamb, although it's uh, the barbecue chop kind of cut. But it's nice because of the chart, the burnt uh, taste, the charcoal, charcoal. Finally finished eating. So off we go to the Riverside Market again to see it in the daylight. Chestnuts. See, when it's raw, the thorns are very thorny. But you can take it and go and cook it. But we just leave it here for the squirrels. We are now walking to New Regent Street, and along the way is. Christchurch Cathedral. New Regent Street is another food street but with a tram running down the middle. It's so quaint. Here is Rollicking. It's an ice cream place. Wow, everything looks so good. Just can't decide what to get. At the end, we had the Easter Miracle and pomegranate and berries ice cream. It was excellent, so smooth. Here's the tram inching its way down New Regent Street. Pear cider is made with glacial water. See? Wow. Cheers! Thanks for joining this uh, very quick, speedy visit to Christ Church. We did everything that we wanted to do and more.
and we ate our way to Christchurch. <laughs> See you again.